Well, welcome back to GIS Analysis at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this session, we're going to animate moving points. So it could be radio collared animals or fish. It could be snow machines. It could be vehicles. It could be boats. So we'll start by creating some lines using the Create Fishnet tool. And our lines will be a width of 10 and a length of 10. And we'll have just one row and one column and then we'll create lines and the origin will be zero zero and we'll go straight north so zero one for the y-axis coordinate okay so then what we're going to do is densify these lines let's densify them a distance of one but first let's define the units of our data frame so if we go to properties and then general Let's describe it as meters for our map and meters for display. So then we can use the densify tool. So we'll densify by one meter along each line. Next, let's use the feature vertices to points to create some points along our lines. And some of the points will be identical. So for example, the start of this line and the starting point of this line would result in two starting points. So let's eliminate those identical points. So we'll use the delete identical tool. So delete them if they have the same shape. So it deleted four points that were duplicate. So now let's add a date time field to our point attribute table. And we'll start with the 12 points that are originally on our line number one. So let's calculate the date time for these points. So January 1, 2020. And then we'll add an hour to each of these points. So we'll use the object ID to add an hour to each of these. The second row add two hours, the next row add three hours. Next, let's select these points belonging to this line. So it's actually the original line number four and we'll calculate the date and time for those points. So we can copy the last time from this location, and then we'll calculate for the selected points, control V to paste, And then we want to sequentially add an hour to each of these points. So if we take the object ID minus 37, that would add an hour to this point. The object ID minus 37 would add two hours to the next. Select line one, all the points from line one and all the points from line four, because that will make more sense. So we're gonna go like this and then up. So then if we look at our dates for our moving points and we'll sort ascending, we'll start here. We'll end there and actually we're gonna start at this location. So we're gonna animate a moving object along these lines. And you'll notice also when we have time enabled, it will only show the table, it'll show the rows for whatever time is being displayed. So then the next hour, 2 a.m., there's a point. The next hour, 3 a.m., here's the point, etc. So we can show that in 10, in one, 10 seconds, all the movement along that line.
Okay, the other thing we might want to do is we might want to show where we were. So to show where we were, we could make what's called a ghost layer. So to do that, we'll copy our moving points and then we'll paste them. So it's identical. And then under display, let's make it 90% transparent. And then under time, display data cumulatively. So this transparent layer will be our ghost layer. So then if we go back to our time slider, and let's start from the beginning. So if we go to the next time, you can see these ghosts right here. And if you want a little bit uh, more of a ghost, we just change the transparency. So let's try 70% transparent under display. So then we could see that ghost image a little better. So then once again, we could in 10 seconds show the movement of this animal or this fish or this vehicle.